love boxing. I grew up loving boxing. Like my favorite boxer all time, uh, Lennox Lewis. Um, always loved Lennox Lewis style. Big dude, long arms. You know, great jab, great uppercut, great overhand, overhand right. You know, boxing has got a a boxing has a very uh a very rugged and proud history behind it. Like people, you know, boxing has so many, like so many legendary names and stories in boxing. And of course, you know, for those, for those of us living in this information age, you know, this, 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 uh, this Logan Paul Mayweather fight was not, you know, nobody expected. I mean, I guess people were disappointed. Hell yes. It was like literally a waste of your time if you spent money on it. It was. I mean, let's be real. I mean, there was there were some things that were cool and entertaining, I guess, as far as other fights, but this was garbage, of course. I mean, there was a no knockdown or no knockout clause in the in their contract from what I'm hearing uh that basically guarantees that there's not going to be any kind of true uh uh, 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 you know, boxing comp competitiveness going on. We all knew that. Well, I didn't, well, I, people wouldn't expect that, but if you know, you know, if you pay attention to the boxing world and you, and you understand how boxing, how, how fights are put together and, you know, the ridiculous amount of money that's put on these fights, you know, generally you have a, a, a automatic rematch clause in those. You have little things that are agreed to that, uh, kind of give uh, balance to uh, the loser, whoever the loser is, gives them a little balance so that they can, you know, try and, you know, get their run it back. But in this one, they had a no knockdown clause, which basically meant, I mean, if you knock him out, if you knock out the cat, then you're going to have to probably pay some money. Who wants to do that? But Ricky Hatton is a huge, huge, legendary voice in boxing. And, you know, even for me as someone who understood what this was and <laughs> and in no way, shape or form was going to waste my money on something that I know is not even going to in any any minuscule fashion is not going to live up to to any kind of hype of a true fight because they're not going to really fight each other. Because if they did, I'm pretty sure that one Floyd Mayweather would have spent more time in the gym training for this because he's not in peak Floyd Floyd Mayweather shape. You can see that. Uh, and two, uh, he probably would have. I mean, I would assume, and, and and even the fact that that the fight went as far as it did kind of now lays doubt on that thought process. But I would assume that he would knock this cat out in the first one or two rounds uh, to to just make short work of him so that he didn't. Uh, have to get pushed to any extent because there's a big size difference between these two guys. There's a size difference. Uh, this is entertainment. This is boxing if it were in the WWE. This is boxing if it were in the AEW. This is not true boxing. This is just not. But Ricky Hatton had this to say about this entire situation. WTF was all this about what happened to the days where fighters would put their lives on the line to try to be the best and at least fight the best. Now we have fighters calling out YouTubers as that's where most of the money is these days due to the social media world we live in. I can live with an exhibition fight Mike Tyson and Roy Jones did between, le between two legends of our sport but the greatest fighter of all time who only recently retired against somebody who's only there because of the, how many followers he has is not because of who we, he's previously beat and not because of who he's previously beat. Money is important. That's why we went from the amateurs to the pros. But these days, money seems more important than the legacy. Floyd and Logan, hey, every man to their own. Good luck to you both. My personal opinion was that was shit for boxing. Get up there, boy. <sighs> Hope y'all like my uh, Ricky Hatton uh, East Coast accent. But clearly, Ricky Hatton is not uh, impressed at all 
by this. And also, uh, Canelo Jr., he he also put out, uh, I mean, my bad, Canelo Alvarez, he also put out there a tweet that's uh, basically said, not impressed. And, I mean, this was like, <laughs> this was like, this was a joke. I mean, look, I ain't mad at, I'm not mad at either one of them for getting their money. Uh, you know, it's a, it's a, you know, that's, that's the world we live in today. I mean, that's the world we live in today. You can go on social media and build up hype as a social media influencer, uh, and build up hype with these, with these real world superstars and become a superstar and become this caricature of a boxer. I mean, and I'm not saying the cat ain't got boxing skills, but he's, does he really have the boxing skills that would put him on the same, in the same ring as Floyd Mayweather Jr.? I mean, in the same ring, there, there, there used to be a level of separation between true stars and, and the kind of work that they put in and the kind of, of, of adversity that they have overcome and all those things that, that you fight in your life to be able to get over a hump and to, and to achieve certain things in your life. That, these guys have, have done that. They've, they've walked that path for decades to become, to become the kind of boxer like a Floyd Mayweather, you know, to become the kind of, of receiver like Julio Jones, you know, I mean, these, these, these larger than life, almost figures who are, who are athletes who, who become, you know, who, who are, are self-made completely self-made. And there, there's always been a level of separation where, that level of, of skill that it takes to do that separates you from, you know, any kind of like challenge or, 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 or questioning of one's, one's, uh, 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 hard work to, to, to attain those kind of abilities. Like those are things that, that used to separate people separate, like, okay, my level of respect for this person as a boxer is way up here because, you know, as a, you know, as a, as a, as a, as a mechanic, I can't do that. You know what I mean? As a mechanic, I can't do that. But here you have a guy who, you know, to know, you know, who I won't, I won't disparage uh, Logan Paul and say that he hasn't worked hard to be in the shape he's in, to be able to be at the level of boxing that he really truly is. Cause he's not a professional boxer and anybody who watched him against, uh, uh against, Mayweather, you, and you know boxing, you would you would know that he's not a professional boxer by any stretch. Look, I boxed for two years after I retired. I boxed for two years just as like a thing I was doing. I boxed with professional boxers. I wasn't doing any, uh, I didn't do any fights, but I, I, I sparred with these guys, you know, twice a week and I sparred uh, nine rounds each one. And I mean, I was in the best fucking shape of my life, like better than football shape. Uh, sparring, you know, uh, working with these guys and, you know, and I've, uh, because I've always loved and I've always like, kind of like understood boxing from a, from an athletic standpoint, you know, I was taught by a professional, by a, a coach, a professional coach who, who really took me through and, and like taught me about angles and about, you know, footwork. And it's not really very much different from being an offensive lineman with your foot, with your feet, because there's a level of balance that you use. Uh, that is sim very similar to what uh, an offensive lineman pass setting would do. So, and you know, with the hands, it's the exact same thing. Everything that I did in boxing with a professional trainer was the same thing I did as an offensive lineman with a professional coach with my hands. Everything was the same. The drills were the same. Uh, you know, the 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 how to read, reading where you want to strike, reading how what angle to strike from, like leverage like distance, knowing where your distance is to shoot, like all these little things, all these little nuances, all these little nuances, you know, I understood them very easily because they were, it was all transferable from football. That, that was one thing that I, that, that was, I didn't, I wasn't surprised at, but it was kind of uh, mind blowing how complete, how completely similar it is. There was a separation there that, that, that has now for the first time, been closed and I think it's been closed by just purely entertainment like an entertainment level of 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 operation there's nothing that should have these two guys together nothing 
But in the social media world, it is possible. So what does that say? What does that do now? What does that do for 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 entertainment and boxing? Because who's going to be the next guy that Logan Paul or his brother want to fight in a, in a ring? I mean, they gonna, they're going to be able to do that now. So now we have a whole new thing. A whole new thing. <laughs> boxing, you know, world boxing entertainment. Because that's what it is. It's not actual fighting. It's it's pseudo fighting. I mean, there if there's no knockouts allowed, it's not boxing. If there's no definitive winner or there's not the chance of a definitive winner, then it's not boxing. So you have to call it something else. You have to call it something else.